What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 3v3 hardpoint gameplay from back when I was still playing competitive, so, you know, this was an actual pretty good gameplay. Uh, not much difference between 3v3 and 4v4 hardpoint, except for the fact that basically 3v3, the gunfights and cuts matter a lot more, um, so I feel honestly it's even more likely that the better team will win. I'll give you guys the entire gameplay, you guys can see some of the little mistakes and things like that. Um, just things like that as I talk. So real quick, I just wanted to mention that Yes, I have mentioned that I'm gonna be branching out and I will still be doing that But I want to also let you guys know that I am still continuing my competitive tips and tricks series I've still like just the other day I came up with like 20 different topics that I've still got to go through so and I'm sure you guys will suggest more So that's gonna be an ongoing thing. So don't worry about that going away. So today's topic is basically learning how to be more aggressive and why it works and things like that so initially some of you may be going you, you might be going no 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 don't play more aggressive and you ha are probably still fairly new to competitive if, if you're saying that basically when you first start playing competitive you've been playing public matches and you've probably been playing very aggressive and reckless for the most part and that doesn't work in competitive at the beginning because you don't have the skills yet for that to work. So you have to become a more passive player to be successful initially. But aggressiveness is probably the number one thing, especially for this game, in an online match. And this is, um, this is of course, relating more to S&D. You guys know in respawn game modes to play more aggressive. That's kind of... That, that just happens naturally. But in S&D especially here more aggressive plays are usually better. So why is aggressiveness good? The first reason is that it throws people off guard. Um, a lot of times, especially if you're facing like a higher ranked team or whatever, they're going to expect you to play scared and passive and things like that. And so you can just kind of throw them off guard. And it also kind of allows you to just kind of react quicker. I guess like it just feels like your reaction time is quicker. On top of that, in an online setting, for some reason, I don't know if it's true or not, but your bullets just seem to connect faster when you're the one jumping around the corner rather than the one pre-aiming the door where I'm going to jump around the corner. It just, nine times out of ten, I'm going to win that gunfight for some reason. That's that's how it seems to work. And, on t and the, the biggest reason, and this is what really comes into play against the really good teams, is it forces the other team to pick up the pace as well and when they do this it opens more room for mistakes now this hap this is a two-way street it opens room for more mistakes on both sides so it you have to be the better team to pull this off and i'm going to go through and talk about uh several things here and of course obviously just real quick you cannot play aggressive all the time if you play aggressive every single round and you do like the same thing over and over, they're gonna find a counter for it. So don't do it all the time. Um, basically what I'm trying to say is maintain your critical thinking while you're still adopting this more aggressive play style. You know, don't do not do it every time. P play passive a couple times. Um, you know, play smart. So to play more aggressive, let's say you, you're a more passive player and you wanna adopt this more aggressive play style. So the first thing is you need to trust your gun skill. This is something that is very difficult for players like myself who have bad internet because our gun skill literally changes from game to game depending on who's host um, that's just kind of how it works you know well not your gun skill but your bullet connection I guess so you start to trust yourself less just go ahead and trust it you've got to put your faith in it and it will naturally make you more aggressive as you go because instead of just running away you'll challenge the player which isn't always the best option, again, use some common sense here, but there are times when that will work out for the best for you. Next thing is learn to play reckless. This is something I've played with a couple of my fans and a couple of um, just other people, and they've they've watched me play in a clutch situation. And I don't I don't really sit still very often. I usually am running around actively seeking out um, the other team. So it's it's something that really does work. You know, just Play reckless. Uh, it, it really does work. Next thing is know how your team reacts to situations. And on top of this, I'm basically saying the better team chemistry you have, the more aggressive you can play. So 
what what this essentially means is that if you know your teammates extremely well and you know how they're going to react in every situation and you know how to judge their mood for the day and uh, just how they play in general, you'll be able to make those split second decisions that much quicker on whether or not you want to pursue that kill or do this different rush route or whatever. It'll be a lot easier and you'll just kind of naturally click better. Also, use some combinations of things that will make you better. For example, like in this gameplay, I'm using an ASM-1, which is a submachine gun, so obviously more aggressive. It has a laser sight, and I have gung-ho on. Now, I know some of you don't like gung-ho at all, or you may not like the laser sight. I would recommend still giving this class a try. I know a lot of people don't use it, but I, I really like it. Um, it's not for everybody. It's more for an OBJ-style player. If you're going to play a, a sub-slayer, then you know you may want to leave it off, but it's just an option. It lets you literally just run constantly and just destroy people up close. It's absolutely insane. And the little dog fights in the air, you can win those 99% of the time. So, very, very good. Also, keep in mind here, don't get tunnel visioned when you're trying to play more aggressive. Because this is one of those things that made you decide to play more passive initially. Because you'd get tunnel visioned on a player, forget about the objective, forget about your team's location and the spawns and everything. You know, you have to keep a cool head while you're doing it. Also... Do the unexpected. This goes with playing reckless, like I said before. Um, you know, just sometimes if you're if I wouldn't do this if you're facing a, a lower ranked team because they might actually expect you to do it. But if you're one shot and you went around the corner and they stop shooting, you know what? Maybe poke back out. This isn't something you want to do every time. By all means, you may want to do this like one percent of the time. But you know, just sometimes those really unexpected plays like. A good team would not expect you to poke back out at all. They're going to look for you to go out the other doorway or look for a teammate to come and try and pick up the kill or something, you know, like a bait and switch move. So just every now and then some really unexpected plays can really make the difference. And last thing, I can't stress enough, maintain your critical thinking skills and maintain the coordination within your team. So keep up the communication. The more aggressive you play, the faster you got to make those call outs and the faster you have to make the split decisions. You got to keep going with it and just think critically, be aware of everything going on. And like I said, you know, the aggressive play style is one that it, it does take a little bit of getting used to. I, I guess I'm trying to say because, you know, you've probably been playing pretty passive for a while and it's just it's something you really do have to get used to so give it a try i guarantee you it, it will definitely help you out if you don't believe me just watch some of the pro game plays um you know this is something that even back in ghost was a thing and it's something that i started to pick up on was like on maps like freight the more aggressive offensive team would win things like that so just start adopting it try new things Hopefully it works out for you guys. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.